I'm Jason Strout. I'm at Combat Corner in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I'm going to give you my point of view of why fights look different to different people. There's a couple different things that factor in when watching a fight. One is your particular style. You could like a certain style of fighter. You could like a puncher. You could like an aggressive fighter. You could like a defensive fighter. So that plays in when you're watching a fight, whether you know it or not. Maybe you study a certain martial art. Let's watch it. Say we're watching MMA. And you study a certain martial art and you favor more jiu-jitsu player or a wrestler or a boxer or a kickboxer. So you're going to be drawn to a certain person's style depending on what you do or what you like. It's just, it's just going to happen. Let's say you're watching two fighters go at it. One guy's got heavy hands and, and you like that style. But the other guy that's watching it with you doesn't like punches so much. He, he likes the defense of a, a slicker fighter. So at the end of the fight, they both go to the center of the octagon, center of the ring. Referee's in the middle. The announcer's sitting there ready to give the decision, and there it goes, the decision. And, and, and it, Let's say my fighter won. I'm happy. You know, I, I saw all the things. I think I know, hey, he, he won because of this. He won because of that. And then your friend's sitting there go, well, I, I don't really agree with you. I think he, you know, he did this well and did that well. And, and then when you kind of discuss it a little more, and you're like, well, why do you think he won? Or why do you think he lost? And I ask my friend over here, why, why do you think he won the fight? Why do you think it was a bad decision? Well, he'll give his opinion. And sometimes it might be, well, you know, he, he defended this. He defended that. He was able to get out of this. Uh, I, I thought he was, you know, he moved better. He didn't get hit as much. So he was watching it more from a defensive point of view. And, and sometimes a fighter can win a fight being defensive. That, that has happened. But if you're not countering, you're not doing anything back, at the end of the day, it's all about, I don't want to say it's all about aggression, but it's all about controlling the pace of the fight and getting off and, and, and showing dominance. I guess a more recent fight I can use for an example is the John Jones versus Dominic Reyes fight. Everybody thought, oh, I, I watched the fight and I thought, I thought John Jones won the fight. He, did, he didn't look amazing. He, he's probably, I've seen him in, in better performances and, and, and he didn't do you know, things that we all expect him to do, these, these wonderful flying elbows and knees and things that we've seen him do in the past. But he did one thing. He showed up and, and he finished combinations. He, he was always there to answer back. He never let the other guy finish. The guy might have got off first, but he was always there answering back, and he was putting pressure on, and he looked more composed. I feel like in this fight, Reyes got a little, he got going a little too fast. He, he let the wheels kind of come off, and he got a little too wild, and he kind of spent a little bit too much energy too soon. And now a seasoned vet like Jones, who's been around for a while, knows how to pace himself, right? He knows how to get through round one, two, three, four, and he's been to five numerous times. So, so he's been there before. He knows how to... It's like a long-distance runner versus sprinter. Man, that sprinter's got you in the beginning, and all of a sudden, boom, two, three, four miles down the road, here comes that long-distance guy, and he's going, and he's going, and maybe he's got 10 miles on you, and then 15, maybe he's, maybe he's going to run a marathon, and that sprinter's done. He used it all up. He couldn't understand why I beat this guy in the beginning, and now I got nothing left. And sometimes that's what it is. Sometimes a sprinter can catch you in the beginning and, and get you out of there quick. But that doesn't always happen. And let's say, let's say you're a coach. And you're watching a fight. You, you'll watch it completely different than just a general fan or, or even a fighter. Because a coach usually spends time breaking down fights, analyzing fights, and looking for certain little things that the average person might miss or might not see. And the more the coach watches these fights and learns and studies, that the sharper he gets at seeing things. And it's almost like he's watching a fight in slow motion. And, and he can see things happening before they even happen because he's used to seeing certain styles do certain things. And sometimes it'll change, but most of the time it's, 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 it's pretty cookie cutter. You know what this guy's going to do. You know what style he is. You know what he's going to throw. You know he's going to come back with. You know what he's going to answer with. You know how he's going to break under pressure or he's going he's to uh, succeed when things get bad and he's going to be able to dig deep. And you've just seen it all. And, and not only as a coach, you, you, can, you can see these things and you've analyzed this, but you, you've developed game plans against this certain style. So, so it's just watching a fight from a coach's perspective is completely different than watching it from a fan's perspective. Now, from a fighter's perspective, watching fights from a fighter's perspective, I guess it all depends on where they are in their career. If they're starting out in their career, they might have a certain style. They might be a little more gung-ho. You go for it. You really haven't been, you know, hurt and tested, so you're a little more, a little brave. You're not afraid to get in there and mix it up. So you're, you got that mentality when you're watching fights. I remember watching fights in the beginning, and I like the aggressive guy. I like the guy that went for it. The guy that got hit a lot, didn't care, and then, and then came back and, and, and beat the guy up. And even if he lost, I still thought he won. You know, that's, that's the guy I like. That's the style I like because that's, it's fun for me to watch, but it doesn't always work for everybody. And let's say it's you know, later on in the person's career, my career, and you get hit a little too much, and also one day you feel that little bit of wobble, and you're like, ah, i got to change things up a little bit. So now you start appreciating certain other aspects of the fight game defense and, and, and getting slick and, and being able to move this or that. So throughout time, you've, you've learned how to develop your skills, not only as a, as a fighter, but also analyzing and watching fights. 
So fights can look different to you depending on where you are in your, your martial arts career, your boxing career, uh, your wrestling, your jiu-jitsu career, wherever it may be. You know, watching it from the beginning phases to the end where your mind is, is it's almost like learning a new language. In the beginning, you can only say one or two things and then eventually you can hold a sentence and then someone can say something back and you interpret it and next thing you know, you're just flowing with a conversation and that's how what I feel it is in, in watching fights from the beginning of when you started doing it and started watching fights and getting into it three, four, five, six, maybe 10, 15 years down the road, you can have a different perspective and different view and a different way to analyze and watch fights. Watching fights from a fan's point of view, I mean, that's just the whole wide spectrum of things. One, you can just be a general fan, not know much about combat sports, and you might just like a certain person because maybe you saw them on TV or, or a highlight reel. I mean, how many times have I sat at home and like, let's say, uh, behind the scenes story comes on TV and I sit down with my wife and we watch it and I'm like, you know, I wasn't interested in that fight and now I'm going to buy the pay-per-view. I didn't care. You know, two minutes ago and I watched a half hour special on it and I can't wait to see the outcome because I learned a little bit about this person. Now a general fan could see that, the same thing could happen. Also, I love this person. I, I, I feel like I've in, invested time and I've, I've, I've got a little bit into their life and, I, and you know, I've got some emotions tied in. Let's say they you know, had a, have a sick family member, maybe they're doing it for a certain reason and now I have some sort of investment in this fighter. So now when I watch the fight as a general fan, I'm going to be rooting for this person. I'm going to only be focusing on that one person the whole entire fight. I, I love it when he's throwing strikes and he's hitting, and I'm thinking, oh, that's great, he's winning. And he might not have thrown enough to win, but I've only seen, like tunnel vision, I only see that one thing. I'm only focusing on that one person and what he's doing when he gets hit. I'm like, oh, it's, hor it's horrible. You hear the crowd cheer, ah, it's horrible. And, you know, I'm, I'm, I hope it doesn't happen again. But then you see him hit, and you think, oh, he's winning, he's winning, he's winning. Then you get to the end of the fight, and he loses. You're like, well, I, th I thought he did so much. I thought he did this. I thought he did that. I, you know, he's got a great backstory. And, then you watch the fight and you look at the other guy and you're like, oh yeah, I guess you're right. He, he lost his fight, clearly. He didn't, he didn't do anything. But sometimes you can get stuck in that. You can just fall in love with that one individual and just, and just look at it from that point of view and, and not see the fight as a whole. And that's what makes fighting so spectacular and so amazing. And, and, and everybody from different walks of life and different points of view can watch it and appreciate it and, and, and have arguments about it and, and discussions about it and, and watch fights from different angles and, and, and keep it exciting. You know, that's what makes fighting... That's what I think makes fighting so exciting.